Welcome to iLectronLine and now let's take a look at something called conditional probability. Conditional probability is where there's more than one event, there's a sample space, and the probability of the second event depends upon the probability of the first event having occurred. The way we write the nomenclature is the probability of event 2 depending on event 1. And here, the wording that they use is that the conditional probability of A2 given A1. So that's how we actually say this. The conditional probability of A2 given A1. What I like to write instead, and this is my own wording, is that we can say the probability that A2 will occur provided A1 has occurred. That makes a little bit more sense in the English language. So, what it means mathematically though is that this is equal to this in mathematics. So we know that the probability that A2 will occur, provided that A1 has occurred, is equal to the probability of the intersection of the two events divided by the probability of the first event that has occurred. Now, when we look at the tossing of a die as an example, the sample space is 1 through 6, A1 is the first event and that the number is odd. So we've thrown the die and someone tells us the number is an odd number, so that's the first event that has occurred. And so the, therefore the probability that the second event will occur depends upon of course the knowledge of what happened in the first event and then they say what is now the probability that the number is less than four provided that the number is an odd number and so we use this equation right here which means that is equal to the probability of the intersection of a1 and a2 and what is the intersection of a1 and a2 uh, let's see where's my red pen here's my red pen so the number is odd and the number is less than 4, so 1 and 3 is both odd and less than 4. So there are two numbers, two elements that belong to the sample space that is the intersection of A1 and A2, so therefore the probability of that is 2 divided by 6, since 6 is the sample space and 2 is the number of elements that belong to both A1 and A2. We now divide that by the probability that A1 has occurred, or that would occur, I should say, and so A1 means the number is odd, there's three numbers that are odd out of 6, so the probability there is 3 divided by 6, so this becomes 2 divided by 6 times the inverse, 6 divided by 3, the 6's cancel out, and we get a probability of 2 out of 3. That means that if we toss a die, and we know that the toss, the number is odd, then the probability that the number will also be less than 4 is 2 to 3, and that's how we do that.